George Floyd died in police custody after an officer pressed his knee into Floyd's neck for at least seven minutes. The episode was recorded by a bystander. Witnesses say the African-American man on the ground, identified as George Floyd, repeatedly cried, my neck hurts and I can't breathe. What if I was black? Could I drive my car at night? If I ran a red light, would I lose all my rights? What if I was black walking through your neighborhood? Would you kill me on sight because I'm wearing a hood? What if I was black and I took a knee at a game? I used my fame for good, but my name would be shamed. What if I was black? Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. Cops seem to hate you because you're black wearing a cap. Imagine being an officer scared on the job. Seeing a black man selling cigarettes on the block. I really can't believe we have so many racist police. Telling me they're not racist, you're part of the machine. I don't give a fuck if you're resisting arrest. No one deserves the thighs, this is why we protest. Black lives matter, do you understand that? No, you probably don't, so go put on your tin hat. Three weeks ago, Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager, was shot down by a white neighborhood watchman who claimed self-defense and has not at this point been arrested. On February 26, he left his father's fiance's house to buy Skittles and ice tea for the NBA All-Star game, making his way along this path. And Crime Watch volunteer George Zimmerman spotted him and began to follow him. Here I am again at the house watching riots. We're tired of police killing us and being biased. We want real change, not the shit to happen again. Fuck the police, they'll never understand our pain. Nonviolent protest has gotten us nowhere. Maybe if we burn down cities, you'll start being fair. The president called us thugs. What do you expect from a racist? He's trying to start a war between all the races. CBS News has learned that Attorney General William Barr made the ultimate call to not bring federal charges today against a white New York City police officer in the chokehold death of Eric Garner, a man whose last words were, I can't breathe. The death of a frontline health care worker who was killed during a police raid two months ago today. Breonna Taylor's family is suing three Louisville police officers after the 26-year-old woman was shot and killed in her apartment. Now, officials say this incident back in March was tied to a drug investigation where police were searching for someone else. Please, 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 please.